But we've got Jeff with Safe Kids Worldwide. He's a coordinator with Winnebago County, talking about something that we would have never last year, never thought we would have to even think about. It's safety with our kids on the school bus, throwing the pandemic, throwing masks, throwing all of that. Jeff, what do are, what are parents do to help their kids get ready and make sure that they're staying safe on buses? First of all, it starts off with the parents making sure that their kids are healthy and safe prior to going to the school bus or sure. going to school. Um, at this point, you, you always check to make sure that they're not having any symptoms, running a fever, the fever of 100.4. 100, 100 other than that, that's the best thing to do is make sure that they're, they're healthy and safe before you ever send them off. Sure. And you're hoping that other parents will do the same yeah. so they don't get it. Now, when it comes to the school bus, school buses are not meant for social distancing right. whatsoever. I mean, we'd pack three in a seat when I was right. a kid, you know? Right. Most buses will seat 58 to 72 kids. Mm -hmm. Now you're probably looking at cutting it in half, if not more. So the CDC recommends roughly seven kids per bus if they're not wearing masks. Okay. And that's usually alternating seats um, as far as possible. Sure. Um, with masks, they're talking probably half that. Okay. So you're looking at about 28 students per bus, alternating seats, yeah. in and out. And okay. um, so that's re really going to be the toughest thing. And you're probably going to have to mark the seats to tell kids where they need to need to sit. Sure. Um, one of the better th or good things is is that you could probably have siblings sit together because they do live together. I was going to say that, you know, if you're with a sibling, because I, I know just the, the way it was on our bus, we were kind of made to sit with our siblings. So, right. But you always had a buddy on the bus then, but uh, right. kids are used to sitting with their friends and stuff. So maybe a reminder, hey, don't sit with your friends on the bus at least, but you can at least sit with one of your siblings. Exactly. So when you get on the school bus, Prior to even getting on the school bus, you'll probably have your temperature taken by mm -hmm. an attendant or a driver, depending on the school district. Sure. And the driver may be encapsulated with plexiglass to protect him. Yeah. And then you're probably going to have to, the way it would, should work is have the first student work their way all the way to the back of the bus and fill forward. Mm -hmm. So in a perfect world, if we could have a school bus where you could enter from the middle or the rear, sure. it would be safer just like a city bus, okay. but you're not gonna have that. So enter and sit you know, back first right. to the front. And fill forward. And then of course you have to worry about if you have students that are, are running a fever, what are you gonna do with them? Sure. You can't leave them at the school bus, especially if a parent's not there. Yeah. So, you, so how, that's gonna be a concern. Another issue, yeah, that, right. uh, that bus drivers will have to deal with this yeah. year, so. Exactly. So a couple of tips, obviously you said, just a lot of it's though, before you even set foot on the bus, some important things to remember, and some things to maybe talk with your kids about, like you know, right. who to sit with and, and how much spacing to do. So uh, Jeff, we appreciate you coming on, giving us those tips, so helpful, something we didn't think we'd have to worry about last year, for sure. Not a problem.